Hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another episode of On The Road, where today I'm planning to drive our brand new Scania. Here we are in Cologne. Cologne is the location of my headquarters and it's also the location of where my brand new Scania R410 Rigid Twin Steer is. At the moment it's the same colour as this truck but in the future I know that Fabian from Aerosoft has said in an interview with Game Tech UK that you will in the near future be able to pick different colour trucks. He said there will be about 10 different skins to choose from so that is positive. So we'll just pull into the forecourt. This is my headquarters and in there you can see the Scania is parked. So I'm just going to park this MAN truck up and turn it off and hopefully switch into the Scania and we'll do a job over to Dortmund in the Scania. I'm just going to park this trailer out the way in between the pavement and the shelter there and I'll most probably hire another employee to drive this MAN and keep the business flowing. Okay, I want to try and get as close to the shelter as I can. But I'm going to miss this truck. It's been nice. I've driven the MAN since uh, since I actually loaded the game up initially. So I have always had it. But now, because we're level 4, we've actually unlocked a slot to buy a new truck. And so I've done just that. So I've got two MANs, and now I've got a Scania. I've never driven a Scania in this game, so it's going to be interesting. Let me just take my card out. There we go. Okay. So that's where the MAN will be parked for the time being until I employ an employee. So this is Chrisim Gamer Logistics headquarters and this is our new Scania R410. As I say it is a twin steer, the rear axle is steerable and it's a rigid body. Not a bad truck let's have a look at this this is the trailer I've bought it's actually a drawbar trailer so it's going to be incredibly difficult to reverse but I may as well try it I'm sure it's not impossible so I'll get the Scania and attach the trailer So it's certainly different in here. The engine sounds different. And I see that the parking brake is there on the dashboard, which is certainly different. Let's just insert my card. Change it to driving mode and accept. So we've got over five hours on the clock. That'll be enough to do the delivery nice bed right let's go and hook up this trailer then so parking brake off and away we go as you can see it is getting dark now so when we set off I think we'll probably have to have the headlights on because it will be getting dark quite quickly now it's it is evening time so we'll probably arrive in Dortmund which is our destination when it's dark right I need to reverse this up to the drawbar trailer so let's do that and you can see down there the rear wheel is turning which adds a lot of manoeuvrability to this truck front and rear steering right a little bit more back yep yeah, that's that's definitely got it 
Right, so I need to open these doors so it doesn't conflict with the trigger. And then I can attach this. There we go, that's definitely on. That was a nice reassuring animation there. So there we go, we'll see how we got on with that. That's the drawbar trailer. It'll be fine going forward, but not necessarily reversing. Okay, so as you can see, I've programmed a route in the sat nav. So this is the route. Let's have a look. So first of all, we're going to Brutto in Cologne, and we're picking up 13,200 kilos of bread, 6,400 kilos of fruit, 1600 kilos of empty pallets and 6000 kilos of dog food and then we're taking it all the way to Dortmund to the logistics hub so nice straightforward route right let's get this show on the road so turn the lights on because it's getting dark and away we go I see the drawbar trailer there in the mirror definitely connected which is good alright so we're turning right out of here so we're now leaving the headquarters heading slowly towards Brutto in Cologne no one coming from the left which is good and so far I quite like the Scania. I don't think the field of view is as broad as the MAN, but it has a different feel to it. It's definitely a Scania. The mirrors are slightly different. Just wait at the traffic lights. Right, we're not far away from the the location of the Brutto and it's just starting to rain so I'll turn the window wipers on it's going to be a miserable night by the look of it yeah it doesn't rain very often on this game but when it does I love the effects on the windows I think I think the uh, developers have got that right and there's reflection on the road as well which is a nice little touch here we are this is Brutto so we're turning left into here and you watch that drawbar trailer in the mirror look at the maneuverability in, in forward motion is fantastic it's just reversing I'm a little bit worried about but I think the Brutto loading bay is quite easy to get to because it's simply reverse as long as you don't move the wheel too much it should be okay so I've got the hazards on and one thing I notice about the Scania is the 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 flashing light relay is a lot quieter than the MAN the MAN hazard lights and the indicator is certainly a lot louder it's a higher pitched tick as well right let's see how we get on with this then so as I say it shouldn't be too difficult going straight back but that drawbar trailer is a bit of a nightmare apparently when you're reversing I need to try and keep the drawbar wheels straight if I can but I think when we get to the logistics hub in Dortmund that will certainly be a bit more challenging because we'll have to reverse round a corner to get up to the loading bay so that'll be interesting hopefully it won't take too many attempts to get it but we'll have to wait and see so I think we're pretty much there that'll do So let's 
open these rear doors and look at our assignment paperwork so we've got 12 items on the freight documents that will pretty much fill the trailers so I'll open these and we'll load up There we go, that's everything loaded. Dog food, bread, pallets, fruit. So we've got pretty much a full load to go to Dortmund with. Let's just close this one. I need to go around the other side to close the other one. Right, that's loaded up, so let's get in and carry on. Okay, hazards off to Dortmund. So we'll carry on round here and we'll turn left round this corner. And then when we get to the road, we're turning right out of the Brutto and heading towards Dortmund. I didn't really find it that challenging reversing the the dolly I think it's it's gonna really test us when we actually get to Dortmund because we'll literally have to reverse the drawbar trailer round a corner up towards the loading bay at the logistics hub and that's where our skills will really be tested but as for the manoeuvrability going forward, fantastic. You certainly don't have to give such a wide berth when going around a corner. So I do see the benefit of a drawbar trailer. It is certainly manoeuvrable. So I'll just set the cruise control at 50 kph. As we cruise down the town and you see the large puddles that have been created by the rain on the road I don't know how long it will rain for but uh, hopefully it won't be all night I'm hoping when we actually get to Dortmund the rain would have stopped but we'll see it doesn't rain very often in this game so it is a, a bit of a rare treat So we're turning right at the traffic lights and that should be heading towards the slip road for the M3 motorway, what I call the M3 because it is a motorway and that will basically be heading all the way east towards Dortmund. I believe we get off onto an A road and then that will directly go into Dortmund from there but it's certainly not far away it's only a few miles on the motorway it will take probably around I don't know t uh, 20 minutes so not too long and of course we're limited to 80 kilometers an hour on the Autobahn so yeah I estimate about 20 minutes we don't need to stop because we've got about four, four and a half hours of drive time left on the taco. So the sign there says Dortmund. So we are going this way. And it looks as though they've closed the lane off going right. And we've now officially left Cologne. So we're now on the slip road to the M3 motorway. So what I'm going to do, as usual, I'm going to fast forward the video on the motorway and of course I'll resume when we get into Dortmund. So we'll see how we get on on the motorway and I'll see you in a few minutes.
we're finally here. This is Dortmund. We just about made it. The problem is I misjudged my speed a little bit when I was going around a slip road and I slammed into the crash barrier and damaged the cargo which was a bit silly and then on the A road a car tried to cut into my lane and ploughed into my trailer so that journey didn't really go very very well could have gone better but never mind we've made it we're here uh, as I say we're gonna have to have a lot of deductions from our final payment but that's that's the way it goes unfortunately so uh, we we are here in Dortmund and we have got quite a bit of money left in the trailers so never mind it's not a complete loss you can't drive perfectly in this game all the time especially the way the AI are at the moment until a future update when the AI have a bit more intelligence that they're not slamming into you when you're in the lane that you should be in but it doesn't matter right so we're just going around this bend and we're literally round the corner from the logistics hub and it stopped raining which is a good thing right we're gonna have to stop at these traffic lights so bear with me there we go we're on green but I'm quite impressed with this Scania it handles quite well I like the sound of the indicators and uh, the GPS is not in the way I mean the the um, sun visor is quite low compared to the MAN and the mirrors are uh, quite out more than the MAN. The MAN mirrors are fixed to the door whereas the Scania you see the mirrors are sort of out a, a good half a foot compared to the uh, the other truck but it's all getting used to it. Having the parking brake there on the dashboard is quite nice and here we are. This is the logistics hub so this is where the fun begins because of course I have to try and reverse that trailer so that's going to be interesting right let's turn round and twin steer with the straw bar trailer is going to be easy to get round here it's almost a shame I can't drive in forwards really but never mind right so we'll see how we get on with that sort of angle but um, I have a feeling it's gonna take a few attempts but first things first let me show the logistics hub the freight documents so there's the 12 items slightly damaged but you can't have everything righty-o so open the doors I need to go around the other side to open that last one and it's still not dark yet it's getting dark but it isn't dark it's sort of sunset right this is the moment I'm dreading because I don't think I'm to the left enough unfortunately see I can I can move the wheel that way and then the drawbar trailer will push that trailer there to the right but I'm just not far enough over to the right in the beginning so I'll go forward a little bit first and this is going to be very embarrassing right let's see how we get on with that so if I turn my wheel that way no that way there we go that, that might be sort of the right angle coming to the right a little bit more no 
not forward enough. Oh, here we go. It's not like farming simulator, is it? See, at least with farming simulator, you can look out the back window. With this, I have to look out of the window and see down the side of the truck. I can't quite see where the dolly is at times. But that's not a bad angle. Certainly get in there. Oop, no. Go forward a bit. Okay. No, other way, other way. That's it. You know what? I'm going the same place as I did last time. Uh, here we go. Right, I'm going to go straight up to the road, I think. As much as I physically can. Right up to here. Right, let's try it again. So, we want the wheels going to the right. That's it, how are we doing? Yeah, it's turning. I'm going to jackknife it. See, that's too much now. <laughs> okay, this isn't going well. This is not going well. Right, if I go down at that angle now, so straighten the dolly up, that's it, and slowly go backwards, forwards a bit, there we go, and backwards, I want to turn the wheels to the left a bit, that's it, and then straighten it up, straight back now. Ooh, it's going to the right. Come on. We're almost there. Just a little bit more to the left. So again, if I straighten this up a bit. And then turn the dolly so it's going the other way. Start reversing. Okay, straighten the dolly up and then back and slightly to the right. There we go. Look at that angle, that's perfect. There we go, we got there in the end. So, that is the drawbar trailer. I think with experience, I will get the hang of it. And yeah, look at these deductions, blimey. 107, 188. So, not perfect, but not bad for our first attempt. And I do like the Scania. I'm quite impressed with it. But um, I, I think it's going to take a few attempts to reverse that trailer. And then I'll be able to get the hang of it, I think. So, what I'll do, I'll just park up here. Turn the hazards off, turn the lights off, uh, turn the engine off, take the card out, and there we go. Close the doors, we've near enough completed our assignment, yes with a few damages but never mind, practice makes perfect, but there we go, our brand new Scania R410 twin steer with the trailer just get rid of these emails and look at the logistics page nothing on our current route and we're here in Dortmund ready for our next assignment but that's it for today hope you enjoyed the video cheers for watching see you soon